In this video, I take a damaged squishy and gave it a new life and some new colors. So my sister asked me to fix her broken squishy. Well, technically I asked her and she said yes. And I'm gonna be turning it, well, not only am I gonna be fixing it up for her, duh. I'm gonna be turning it into one of her characters. But as I was painting it and getting it ready to like turn it into the character that she wanted, I need to kind of figure some things out. So, okay, so my audio disappeared once again for my showcase. So I'll be speaking over this part again. So grabbing out my coloring pencils, I started coloring the character that I've already drawn in my sketchbook. The reason why I'm doing this is to get the basic of the color of what the character will look like. If that makes sense. And I'm using my watercolor pencil for this one as well. I'm using them to color in the colors that belong to Blue Paul, which is the name of the character. And then I grab my watercolor brush to mix the color pencil together. And once I added in the white shine, this drawing is done. Now that I have the basic concept of what I want the character to look like, now it's time to bring out the squishy and get started. This is the squishy that needs to be repaired. She has a few rips on her neck, but that's easy to fix. Help However, me. her left leg is completely ripped off, and we can't have that. Help so it's time for me, me to bring out my fabric hot glue and glue it in her foot. Once I glued in the foot, it was time to get started with placing the puppy paint on top of the character so that I can cover all of those rips and glue on her. I keep on putting the puppy paint on the squishy until it looks smooth and nice. I keep doing this until I felt like it was good enough. Once I was able to smooth out the puppy paint- Puffy- Puffy? Puffy or puppy? Oh, it doesn't matter. The puppy paint on the squishy. I covered the entire squishy with the white fabric paint. I did several layer of white paint on top of her. I mean, many layer of white paint on the front of the squishy. So, many layers. Now that the white paint is done being placed on the front, it's time to get started with the back of the squishy. Yeah, you thought this rabbit hole was done. This took so many layers of white paint, just like the front! Yay! I've added so much of white paint onto the squishy that I felt like my hands were going to fall off. And yes, I even painted the bottom of the squishy. <laughs> but enough of that, it's time to paint the squishy again. This time, I'm using a black grayish color for her base. I completely covered her entire body with this color that I'm using now. However, in the future of this video, I have I try to mix this color again, but you will notice that the differences in the color on her face when I had to mix color to fix her face, but, but that's in the future. This is the present now. Let's focus on the present. And in the meantime, I started off with the front of the squishy first before moving on the back side of the squishy. I did the back side and the bottom off camera of the squishy. Don't ask me why. And here we are now. I pulled out my sketchbook and cut out my reference of the wolf. I mixed some colors together to get the colors that I wanted. I wanted to mix some blues together, but if, like I wanted a dark blue, medium blue, and a light blue, which I did. Alright, and I think the colors came out pretty good, I do say so myself. Once all of those colors are mixed, and then with putting the blue onto the uh, squishy, I decided to break mix my black and grayish color again to add onto the squishy as well. I started painting the ears with the blue color, but I actually mixed my black and gray colors again to blend it all in. This took a while for me to get it done right, but once I, was, I did it a few times, I was able to get it the right way. The way I wanted it to look like. And I have to say, I really like how it turned out. I did the ears and the tail, kind of forgetting about the feet. We'll get to that later. I painted her eyes white and, and added in a big black dot under the character face. And I added some detail off camera. I thought I was done with her, but my sister reminded me about the missing detail. So I went back and added them, them in. So I came back to the squishy and added in the detail that I missed. I painted her feet with the same blue color that I used for her ears and tail. And then I moved on to her eye and added in the yellow colors to her eye. And then I added a few more detail to her. And now she is finally done done. She's finally done, and I'm very happy in how she turned out. My sister is very happy with her as well. Thank you guys for, so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. And here is the Bro, final result. Bye, you dragons! Everybody just do your thing. Wake up! Today's gonna be a good day. 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 Wake up.
Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Yo, set your affirmations, aspirations. I got shit to do. The aftermath of preparation. Good food, good mood, blood in circulation. One step at a time. Yeah, that's how you make it. Set a goal you control and the steps you take them. I try to pick one thought, have some concentration. And if I make a mistake, it's called education. I try to do this every day. Call it replication. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up. Today's gonna be a good day. Wake up.